Good morning, 3M. It is Tuesday, March 31st, and let's check out what I have in store for you. So first, I want you to complete 30 minutes of independent reading, whether it's story work, scholastic news, epic, true flicks, however you want to do it, just make sure you're getting 30 minutes in. Let's continue our work with the poetry and our uh, heart maps. If you have not completed your heart map, that is totally okay. Take your time, do a great job, then take a picture of it for Seesaw, and then use the microphone tool to tell me about your heart map and why you chose what you chose. Now say you're done with that. What I want you to do today is I want you to check out these poetry websites and see some poetry and then do a free write, write some poems about the topics on your map, put them on Seesaw, read them out loud, or put them on your e-learning slideshow to show me what kind of creative poetry you come up with for today. So there's two choices. You're either finishing your heart map and uploading it, or you're reading poetry and writing some poetry. For math, we're going to begin to talk about composite figures, which is really a shape that can be divided into one or more basic shape. Like look at this letter H, you could divide that into one rectangle, two rectangles, and a third rectangle. So Khan Academy today does a great job of looking at composite figures and how to break down larger shapes into smaller shapes to find the area. So do all of the um, the videos and the practices let's go right to it so i can show you so you're going to watch this first video and then you're going to do all of the practices and the um and the additional videos on the left side this area word problem down here is a bit complicated but definitely still watch it and if you have any questions it's absolutely okay and if you get some of the practice questions wrong that's okay just try your best this is a challenging concept that we're going I continue to practice throughout the week. If you're still looking for a challenge, the daily math challenge number eight is up. Lastly, for cultural universals, I'm going to give you till Friday to continue the last three universals. So beliefs, that's what does your family believe, your values, your religion, your traditions. Economics is what kind of jobs and transportation are in our culture. And cultural arts is how we show beauty, so dance and music. So all of those questions are just going to need to come from your brain and from your life. There's no research required. So just take till Friday to fill out the rest of them. Remember to be writing in third grade sentences, full sentences. So a tradition of my family is too. And if you have not done that with your other ones, please make sure you go back and do that work. Make sure you uh, visit the specials pages. I hope that you've already joined Miss Cameron's Google Classroom. Miss Bashir is actually going to be Zooming with you guys on Thursday, April 2nd from 9.30 to 9.45. She sent your parents an email and should have the link on it. So make sure that you join her on Thursday. I will see you again tomorrow at 10 o'clock for our Zoom. Miss Style will be joining us to read the book of the month and uh, Coach Sinowitz will also be joining us to talk about what he is asking you guys to do for PE. So good luck today. Enjoy writing some poetry. Enjoy checking out a new math concept and thinking deeply about your own culture. If you have any questions, don't forget the e-learning slide, uh, I'm sorry, e-learning panlet. And I will see you guys tomorrow at our Zoom.